Good morning. I am indebted this morning to my friend, Dr. Dale Meyer of Concordia Seminary, St. Louis, uh, for the thought of applying the blessing of Deuteronomy 33, verse 27, to our lives in the midst of the current pandemic. Because as this pandemic drags on, those words of Deuteronomy 33, 27, which Moses spoke in his final blessing on Israel, and allow us to lean into them as a blessing for today. Those words are this, the eternal God is your dwelling place and underneath are the everlasting arms. Now, let's ask a Lutheran question. What does this mean? The eternal God, it says, eternal. God has no beginning and no end. As Psalm 90 verse 1 says, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Friends, through the centuries, God has seen it all. Why not ask him for help with whatever troubles you during this pandemic time? The eternal God is your dwelling place, it says. Why not flee to a safe place when you can't find one on social media or television? He's our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. In his house, you know that all will turn out well, no matter what the pandemic brings. Underneath are the everlasting arms, Moses says. Now, does God have arms? No. Not until he decided to help us and send his son into our flesh. Jesus stretched out his arms on the cross to pay for your sins. And today, those arms of Jesus are open to you as he says in Matthew 11, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Those arms are underneath you. Feel the lift, friends. Psalm 118 says, I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. It's like the toddler you swoop up to hold right before your smiling face. The Savior's everlasting arms uplift you to the loving face of your loving Father. The hymn writer said it. Beautiful Savior. Lord of the nations, Son of God and Son of Man, glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine. Be blessed today as your Lord's arms hold you up. And remember the Lord is with you today, whatever today brings. And we will share more of the word with each other tomorrow.